Total charm. Disarm your desires. Distant your wires from Wi Fi nonsense. Supersize markets of supersized souls. Soft drive IT based handlers. With bangs of chain store length. Longing to be let out of the time bomb economy. This autonomy curtailed a redistribution of finite wealth for nothing. Of the 
of the time was the time. Rising and falling with weird intervals of sound, muffled by distance by trees. Setting my heart's desire flame and fall. The night, the old dance on the sources of the witches' savannah. Then the world of the stars was about me. The magic of the moon, the power of the wind rushing from precipice to forest, leaping from cliff to cliff across the valleys, tore me away. I could hear the cries of the dancers and their wild laughter. As with this savage girl in my embrace, I danced furiously about the two floors, where sat the figure with the scepter of madness. melt away into haze, shivering mysteries. Then I look into the depths of the country. The whole lower slopes of the hill that lie hid from the brightness of the moon are aglow, and through the glare I see countless moving forms, shifting thick and fast between the opening of the trees. All overhead like leaves driven by the wind I discern flying shapes. Hover darkly one moment against the sky and then settle down with cries and weird singing through the branches into the region that was aflame.
Turn back to the girl, some dark substance stains her face and skin, shining in the moonlight as she stretches her hand towards you. Dressed in wretched, tattered garments that yet become her lovely. Ruins of age twine about her temples, her eyes glitter when our holy eyes. Drop away your skin before you cry, and your Come with me to the Sabbath with a madness of its furious delight, furious delight. With a sweet abandonment of the worship. And see the great ones that they are in the terrible attack of the terrible attack. Anointed and cursed. Anointed and cursed. Come with your dear apostate soul. And we will worship and dance till the moon dies and the world is forgotten. I look and I see the ball, perched in a row like cats upon the roof. All dark, singularly shapeless, their eyes like lamps, and the sun suddenly comes back to me. Kills us terror, terror and a sight of fire. I strike a match, throw it into the dead leaves that lay under the wall, dry and withered. They catch fire at once, and the wind carries. Flames in a long line down the length of the wall, licking upward at the ground. With shrieks and waves, the crowded road falls and melts away from the air on either side. Going with a great rush and whirring of their bodies down in the heart of the haunted valley, I turn back towards.